Victoria, if anybody's going to complain about this, you may well do, but you don't see the problem. I didn't see the problem. I think it was handled very sensitively. I think they probably knew they were choosing quite a controversial subject matter. But for me, anything that highlights uh, a bereavement or a child going through grief is a good thing. I think it will help other children that have maybe been bereaved from a sibling or a parent not feel so isolated. And I know from personal experience that my children are desperate to know what their dad was like, what traits they have in common, and anything that can get a child talking about the loss of a loved one or their grief, I think it's a really positive message. But I think children people... don't like being sad, do you know what I yeah, mean? So but it's I kind of promoting it. The criticism has been I hear what you're saying, but was that McDonald's intention to say, let's get children talking about their bereavement? You know, and their point of view is that they want to show that McDonald's is kind of with you through good times and bad and, you know, throughout your life. And, you know, it is a controversial message, but for me, anything, as I said, that highlights this whole message, I think, is... And it, the way they've handled it is very, very sensitive. Okay. You know, the way he lights up at it's the end... It's beautifully made. ..when he finds out that he yeah. does order the same thing as his dad, um, which probably... But it's quite unusual that both people would find a fillet yeah. of fish their favourite I suppose, thing. like, for your youngest, he probably doesn't remember He doesn't. He Nick was four as, when as Nick died. Yeah. And he's always asking about what Dad is like. And I've saved... You know, I think that thing about the beginning with the memory box is really mm. important, and I've got that for, for Kit with Nico. But he does want to know what his dad was like. What kind of a man was he? Mm. You know, does he look like him? Is he into the same things? You know, I like watching... He just sits and watches the Grand Prix because he knows that Daddy used to sit and watch the mm. Grand Prix. And we sit around and eat chocolate bars together and... It invokes memories and it, it, it promotes, you know, memories of us talking about Nico. And I think anything, but do you not think any it's simple everyday things that, that do that are really important. Do you not think it's cynical then that something is then being sold on the back of that? I think that's the issue that yeah, a lot of people have. No, I can have. see that people would find it offensive. Mm. But I think there's so many cynical things. I mean, you know, advertisers choose any number of cynical things, a heartbreak, a breakup, a divorce, mm. a, you know, love interest, whatever it is. OK, this is child bereavement, which is a very, very sad subject. Yeah. But it does happen. One in 30 children are bereaved with a parent or a sibling mm. every single year. So it does happen more than we think. Um, and they, they're making it more of an everyday subject matter, which for me has got to be a good thing. Uh, yes, I think that's a very good case mm. you make, except I then read McDonald's response and explanation um, to all of this. They said, we can confirm that we took the decision to withdraw our dad TV advert. Uh, the advert's been removed from all media completely and permanently this week. It was never our intention to cause any upset. So far, so good. Then we get to, we're particularly sorry that the advert may have disappointed those people who are most important to us, our customers. Not, they don't say it has uh, upset children who have been bereaved from mm. their parents or people who are suffering bereavement in general. What they should have said, you're right, is that we've upset people that have maybe lost a parent yeah. or, you know, are single parents struggling on their own, widows. That's what they should have said. That, that was wrong, their comment at the end. Um, but overall, for me, you know, my take on it is that it is bringing more awareness to people that have lost, you know, people not in the normal order of life. You know, we all think we're going to lose somebody, an elderly parent, that they die of natural causes. It doesn't always happen. Um, you know, this poor guy has lost a parent, fictionally, but for me, handled yeah. in a really so sensitive way. So anything that gets people talking about it... I think it, so. You it's think like, you know, good. Prince Harry and the Heads Together campaign. Yeah. It's, it's, it's making it less taboo. In the old days, people didn't talk about, you know, a, a parent, a, a child losing a parent. Some, mm. They weren't even allowed to go to the funeral. But as you say, again, the Heads campaign, they're not selling something. No, you're right. You know, you're right at the end right. of it, it isn't about a fillet yeah. of fish or but, some But chips. you also said, yeah. Victoria, one in 29 children in mm. yeah. the UK is bereaved of a parent or sibling by the age of 16. Mm. It's very young, and mm. it's a lot. Right. You know, that's one in every class, yeah. isn't it? Exactly. Actually, right. if you yeah. think about it like that, it's yeah. a lot of children. So the fact they're highlighting this issue, I think, is a good thing.